Hello to pros and welcome back to my IT workshop. This is your boy Alvin Drill. In this video I'm going to show you how to upgrade the BIOS version on an HP 600 G4 Mini. Okay, so I have done two videos in the past about this model. I have uh, reset the BIOS password and recently upgraded to Windows 11. So if you are interested in that, I'm going to leave the link in the description below. So it doesn't have to be the same model. You can have any other HP model. The process is going to be very similar. Okay, so as you can see, this is the desktop for Windows 11. So the first thing we have to do is check what BIOS version do we currently have. So we can check if there is a new version. So here you go to the task, uh, to the search bar and you type CMD to open the command prompt. So you can right click on it and open it as, as an admin, but I am the admin of, the, of this computer, so I don't really need it. So I'm just going to click on that. So this is the command prompt and the command we have to type is system info space pipe find and the command that we need, which is uh, BIOS version, okay? So make sure that you are typing BIOS version like it is, uh, BIOS in capital and the first letter of version in capital as well. Otherwise, it might not work, all right? So after that, you just press um, enter and it's going to take a few seconds for the information to load. By the way, system info gives you a lot of information, but we don't need all of that. We just need the BIOS version, okay? So when you're ready, you press enter and after a few seconds, you can see BIOS version HP version 2.07 that came out in 2019. So more than two years ago now, I'm recording this in 2021. So there has to be a new version. Okay. If this doesn't work for you, delete all that it that comes after system info and just ex execute the command system info. So it's going to give you a lot of information and you just look for BIOS version. All right. So now we need the serial number for this device. And this, and this works for any other model, uh, HP, Dell, doesn't make a difference. So it's WMIC BIOS get serial number. So you press enter and it's going to give you the serial number. Okay, so now take a picture of that, uh, write it down, or in this case, I'm just going to select it and copy it. Now, we don't need uh, this anymore. And we're going to check if there is a new version. So you open a web browser. I'm going to use B, uh, H for now and you type hp.com. So uh, the website is going to look different depending when you visit, it, but right now it looks like this. So you go to support, you go to software and drivers. From here, you select what it is, a printer, a laptop, a desktop. In this case, it's a desktop computer. And here is where you uh, paste the serial number. So I'm going to paste it and then I click submit. After a few seconds, it's going to show me this site. And as you can see, this is the model, the HP ProDesk 600G4 Desktop Mini PC. So this is how it looks. I'm going to show you in a few more seconds. And these are all the drivers that this device have. Well, I mean, that, that this device can be installed. All the drivers that can be installed in this device. So we are looking for BIOS. And as you can see, there is a new version 2.16 that came out in May 2021. So a few months ago, actually. So uh, depending on when you visit this, you might see another version. So I'm going to download it. As you can see here, no thanks, I'm going to download it manually. And in the top right, you can see the download, okay? So I already have it over here in the desktop. And this is how it looks, it's around 20 megabytes, so it's not that big. And I also created this folder over here, it's called HP. You can call it anything that, that you may like, but this is the folder that is going to have all the files. As you can see, this is empty, it's going to be filled with files in a few more seconds. So you just double click on this one, on the update, Yes, I want to run it. Um, from here we go next. We select, uh, we agree to the license. And here is where I select where I want to uh, have all the files. So HP, the same folder, you select it. Okay, next. So now if you open this folder, it's going to be full with files, okay? So right away, um, I didn't press anything. I didn't click on anything, but this window should be open as well, okay? The HP firmware update and recovery, all right? If this doesn't open for you automatically, you have to come here and select HP firmware update 64, and it's not update, it's app rect 64, okay? If it doesn't come automatically. So you have to double click on it and it's going to open the same window. Sometimes it's this one as well, but most of the times it's 64 because this is a 64-bit system. So once it's open, 
you have to select update because this is the computer I want to update. If you have another computer that you want to update, you select the second option. But in this case, it's going to be the first one. In, if you select the second option, you have to use a USB, as you can see here. I'm not going to use this for this video, but if you need it, I have a playlist and you can access to that playlist on the top right of this screen for that. So update is selected and then you go next. And here it's going to tell you HP system firmware. You can see the current version that we have, 2.07, and the new version is 2.16. So I'm going to go next, but before I forgot to mention, this is really, really, really important, okay? So go to this PC over here and make sure that your C drive, where the operating system is installed, is not, it's not using BitLocker. BitLocker is not enabled. How can you tell? Because there is not a physical lock on the, on the hard drive. So as you can see, I right click on it and I turn on BitLocker. That means it's off, okay? I have done a bit in the past on how to upgrade a BIOS version with a computer on a computer that has BitLocker enabled. So if you're, if, you're, if you're interested in that, you can click on the top right of this screen. It's very important that BitLocker is disabled. Otherwise, you're going to have problems and you don't want that, okay? In this case, it's disabled. I don't have it, so I'm going to close it. So I'm going to continue. So we check this, we go next, and this is going to take, I don't know, 45 seconds, one minute. The video is sped up in this part. And after that's finished, it's going to tell you this. The firmware installation was successful. Please restart the PC to complete the update. So then you have to click uh, restart, okay? And the update is actually going to uh, start. So I'm going to uh, press that and the computer is going to restart. So as you can see, the computer is restarting. Don't touch anything. You don't have to do anything on the keyboard. And this is going to show up automatically. Updating BIOS 2.16.00. Do not reset, the, do not, do not reset, turn off or remove power from the computer, okay? So just follow the, those instructions. The computer is going to reboot many, many, many times, all right? So don't disconnect anything from the power. Otherwise, your computer might become unusable. So the video is sped up in this part. Don't worry about that. Uh, all, the whole process took around 15 minutes, so bear that in mind. Uh, the process goes automatically. You don't have to press anything, at least in this model. So after this is finished, the computer is going to reboot for the first time, okay? So don't touch anything. And while we're waiting for that, this is a good time for you to like this video and subscribe to the channel if you haven't done it yet. That really, really helps my channel a lot. So thank you, thank you very much. So after that, as you can see, the computer is restarting. Again, it's going to restart, restart many times, okay? So I'm showing you the computer. You can see the power button blinking, turn it on and off uh, many times. So don't worry about that. This is n normal, okay? So now, updating something else is updating something. So it's going to reboot the game. I'm showing the computer again. No issues here. This is normal. Final step of BIOS update is in progress. So this took another two minutes more or less. The video is sped up in this part as well. And after this time, it's going to reboot again. No surprise there. And it's going to reboot two or three more times. So now it's loading. So that's a good sign. Next, it's going to load to Windows. Now I'm going to log in. And once we are here, I'm going to go to CMD again. And we're going to type the same command that we did. System info pipe find BIOS version. So we press enter, we wait a few seconds. And now it's going to show us, as you can see, version 2.16 that came out in April 2021. So a few months ago, now we have the latest version. So depending when you do this, you might see another version. Maybe you're watching this in 2023, you are going to see another version, most likely. So we close this. And now we can delete these two files, uh, the executable and the folder. We don't need them anymore. So that's how you upgrade the BIOS version on this model, okay? So maybe you want to watch one of these videos now. So thank you very much for watching. If you like this video, please leave a like and subscribe. If you have any other comment or questions, leave it in the comment section below. And as always, I'll see you in the next video.